on the rail for every single thing that I do. Before the reimagining, this bus ran about every 30 minutes. Now it runs every 12 to 15 minutes. There needed to be more connectivity. It needed to have longer hours on certain routes. It was decided that the system change would happen overnight, and so that on Saturday, the old system was in place. Sunday, a brand new system was rolled out. We have riders who trip for a half an hour shorter than they used to be. I ride Metro every day, so I got to know what was great about using transit, but I also got to know what was bad about our system. Things like buses that were infrequent, things like not being able to connect in logical places. So I knew we could do better. We hosted, along with Metro, a workshop in 2012 to talk about what we could do in Houston and to fix the bus network. And that got a lot of people excited. The light rail line was doing great, the park and rides were doing great, but local bus was dropping steadily, even though we were adding service. And we all became convinced the problem was the system. Metro Board undertook a process to rethink Metro's transit system from the ground up. It was called system reimagining, and we spent about two years in a very uh, community-driven process uh, developing a new bus system for the city. The old bus network was people's baby. Like, people grew up riding those same routes. The routes hadn't been changed, like, since the 70s. What happened is, is our population starts moving away, but our bus system never really adjusted to it. And so what you had is you had neighborhoods that would connect through downtown to then go to another place. So if you want to go anywhere else in the city, you did that transfer really in downtown. When I heard about this new endeavor, I wanted to be a part of it because at one time there were a lot of routes being considered for total elimination. But you have to understand those neighborhoods, people are transit dependent. I was on the stakeholder committee for two long years and you have your bucket list of things that you'd like to have, things you must have, and you have to work through these things. I got a chance to ride the routes before they put them in place and see where things that we needed to change on it, but I love the bus, new bus network because now we have operations on weekends, during the evenings, and more people were able to get to and from work, to and from school, to events, and it really has opened the city up. predicting about a 20% ridership increase over two years. By about three or four months in, we were somewhere around 10%, 5%, depending on the month. So the early results are looking really good. Where I live in Montrose, it's within walking distance of the 82, and the impact that has had on my life that I really do not drive a car while I'm in the city. Look at this, look at all these opportunities for grocery stores, for shopping. There's a hospital on our route now. You can go to Memorial Northwest Hospital if you need to, or work there, job opportunities. I just have more options. I can actually get to places that I had written off. So on a Sunday, for example, I can get to our brand new signature park on Buffalo Bayou on the bus. That wasn't even a possibility before. What I've loved about the Metro is open and innovative enough because we were the 2015 After Award winner for Outstanding Public Transportation. Willingness, first of all, for the Transit Authority to, to say, okay, let's start with a clean sheet of paper and let's begin to look at how this, this system should work uh, into guts. The real key to success, I think, is, is asking some of those questions about what is the goal for your city, for your region, in terms of the types of transit you're trying to revive. You talk, you negotiate, you compromise, and you work to solutions is the main thing. So I think it would be great if other cities looked at that and said, let's get people out of these cars. And our new mayor, Sylvester Turner, is saying we need to change the paradigm of transportation planning and growth so that we are allowing people the freedom of transit, the freedom of walking and biking, and not encouraging single occupant vehicle trips. Hey, 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 Metro take me anywhere I need to go. It's like my show for, for show, but I love what? Metro 
take me where I gotta go. 